Assalamualaikum students. Today's topic is unit number six, Nasiruddin. Today we will do comprehension, class nine subject English. Work for class nine. Now coming to comprehension. Answer the following questions. There are seven questions. We will attempt question number one to five, and then question number seven. Here is question number six. Have you ever come across a humorous person like Nasiruddin? Compare the character of Nasiruddin with that real life person. So you have to answer the question of question number six by yourself in your activity copy. Have you ever come across a humorous person like Nasiruddin? Kya aap Nasiruddin ki tarah kisi mazaiya admi se mile hain? Compare the character of Nasiruddin with that real life person. Compare, mukabla karein, mushabihat karein. उस रियल लाइफ करेक्टर रियल लाइफ पर्सन उस उस बंदे से जो कि आपको मजाही लगा नसीरुद्दीन की तरह उसके किरदार और नसीरुद्दीन के किरदार का मुकाबला करके लिखें सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट यू हैव टू राइट आंसर ऑफ इट नाउ कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन व्हाट आर नसीरुद्दीन स्टोरीज फेमस फॉर नसीरुद्दीन स्टोरीज स्टोरीज आर फेमस फॉर फन एंड जोक बाई रीडिंग हिज स्टोरीज पीपल आर ग्रेटली अम्यूज दे मेक द रीडर्स लाफ Now coming to question number two, which anecdote from the lesson you like the most? Why? Anecdote means short humorous stories, short funny stories. I liked the first anecdote from the lesson the most. Once Nasiruddin asked one of his friends Jalal to accompany him on a journey. I liked the first anecdote from the lesson the most. मुझे सबसे पहला anecdote funny story पसंद है सबक में से वंस नसीरुद्दीन आस्क वन ऑफ हिस्स फ्रेंड्स जलाल टू अकम्पनी हिम ऑन अ जर्नी एक दफ़ा नसीरुद्दीन ने अपने दोस्त जलाल से कहा कि वो उसके साथ सफ़र पर चले जलाल सेट दैट ही वुड गो विद हिम ओनली इफ नसीरुद्दीन लेंट हिम हिज क्लोक वो एक शर्त पर जाएगा अगर नसीरुद्दीन उसे अपना चुका दे नसीरुद्दीन लेंट हिम हिज न्यू एंड फाइन क्लोक नसीरुद्दीन ने उसे अपना उमदा और नया चुका दे दिया On the way, whenever they met somebody, Nasiruddin told him directly or indirectly that the cloak his friend Jalal wore was not his own. रास्ते में चलते हुए जब भी कोई उनसे मिलता तो वो बरह रास्त या बिलावास्ता तौर पर लोगों को बताता कि उसके दोस्त जलाल ने जो चुहा पहना हुआ है वो उसका नहीं है वोर इज़ द सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ वेयर वोर मीन्स पहनना Now coming to question number थ्री explain the point of laughter in the last story. Answer: Nasiruddin did not want to lend his donkey to his neighbor. He therefore told a lie and told the neighbor that he already lent it out. Meanwhile, the donkey brayed. At this, the neighbor protested and said that donkey was inside the house. Instead of becoming ashamed, Nasiruddin told him that a person who believes the words of an animal does not deserve to be lent anything. This quick response of Nasiruddin creates laughter in the story. So, what is the point of laughter in the last story? Nasiruddin did not want to lend his donkey to his neighbor. Nasiruddin अपने हमसाए को अपना गधा उदार देने नहीं देना चाहता था. He therefore told a lie and told the neighbor that he already lent it out. इसलिए उसने झूठ बोला कि उसने अपना गधा पहले ही किसी को उधार दे दिया है Meanwhile, इसी दौरान the donkey brayed. Brayed means a a sound which is made by donkey. हिन हिनाना So, meanwhile, the donkey brayed. At this, the neighbor protested and said, इस पर हमसाए ने एहतजाज किया और कहा दैट डंकी वॉज इन साइड द हाउस गधा घर के अंदर है इंस्टेड ऑफ बिकमिंग अशेम नसीरुद्दीन टोल्ड हिम शर्मिंदा होने के बजाय नसीरुद्दीन ने उससे कहा दैट अ पर्सन हु बिलीव द वर्ड्स ऑफ एन एनिमल डज नॉट डिजर्व टू बी लेंट एनी थिंग वो इंसान जो जानवर के अल्फाज पर यकीन रखता हो वो मुस्तक ही नहीं कि उसे कोई चीज़ उधार दी जाए दिस क्विक रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ नसीरुद्दीन क्रिएट्स लाफ्टर इन द स्टोरी नसीरुद्दीन के इस जवाब ने इस कहानी में मजाइयापन पैदा किया नाउ कमिंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर हाउ वर द थीव्स ट्रीटेड बाय नसीरुद्दीन व्हेन द थीव्स एंटर नसीरुद्दीन हाउस ही डिड नॉट रिजिस्ट देम 
इंस्टेड ही हिड हिमसेल्फ इन अ कबर्ड एंड लेफ्ट द हाउस एट देयर डिस्पोजल वेन देयर इज एन इज एन एक डॉट इन विच देयर that the thieves enter nasiruddin house so when the thieves enter nasiruddin house he did not resist them he did not do against them he did not resist them he did not go against them he did not fight against them resist them it means he did not fight against them unke khilaf koi muzahmat nahi ki instead he hid himself hid is the second form of hide hid means chupa lena hid himself in a cupboard and left the house at their disposal disposal means at their authority unke ikhtiyar mein apna pura ghar chhod diya now coming to question number 5 what was nasiruddin's explanation to the gardener nasiruddin's explanation to the gardener was that he was blown to the kitchen garden by a wind then he explained that the vegetables were uprooted by him because he took hold of them so that the strong wind might not sweep him along when nasiruddin was asked about the vegetables in the sack sack means bori he explained that he himself was thinking about that when he was interrupted so there is an in anecdote there is an anecdote in which there is dialogues between nasiruddin and the gardener nasiruddin explanation to the gardener was that he was blown to the kitchen garden by a wind blown ud ke aa jana by the kitchen garden baagiche mein by the wind hawa ke zariye ud ke aaya then he explained that the vegetables were uprooted by uprooted by nikalna jad se nikalna because he took hold of them hold of them pakde hue tha so that the strong wind might not sweep him along not sweep him along apne sath uda kar na le jaye when nasiruddin was asked about the vegetables in the sack vegetables in the sack sack mean bori he explained that he himself was thinking wo khud is bare mein soch raha tha when he was interrupted jabke usne mudakhlat kar di now coming to question number 7 write a note on the character of nasiruddin using evidence from the lesson the age and the country in which nasiruddin was born is not known exactly he is popular for his funny stories throughout the world his stories are about the experiences of day to day life he is so popular that in russia a novel has been published about him so coming to activity learn comprehension of unit number 6 and you have to write down these questions into your copy thank you